life when you're a royal correspondent. You have to play a certain game. I feel like I'm okay with the fact that I'll burn my bridges. I know that this is over for me. There is a Palace WhatsApp group where we get uh, information sent to us. I can guarantee that the second this book hits UK bookshelves, that I'll be removed from it. We know Omid Scobie is Harry and Meghan's Finding Freedom co-biographer. He was even given the nickname Meghan's Mouthpiece. His new book, Endgame, is out today. Among the bombshell claims... All the secrets are in this book. The royals are all master manipulators. Harry was kept in the dark about his grandmother's ailing health. Multiple texts to William were ignored in her final hours, and Meghan could sense she wasn't wanted at Balmoral after the Queen's passing. I want to talk about Harry's book, Spare. Yeah. What did he leave out, do you think, that would never see the light of day? I think the conversations about Archie and his skin color. There are several conversations. There's a about conversation it. about how dark your baby is going to be? potentially and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. What we didn't know at the time was that Meghan and Charles had actually exchanged letters about those conversations. Charles wanted to clear the air. I was surprised to find out that it was two people at the center of those conversations. Those two people are senior royals, correct? Senior working royals. You know, I think one thing we haven't really ever gone into is the sort of downfall of Harry and William's relationship, how those fractured were cracked even further apart on purpose by certain aides who wanted to sort of rebrand William as a cut above his brother. After years of William being called lazy and work shy, that a rebranding was needed. But to do that, they often lent on comparisons with his brother who needed to be painted in a worse light. There has always been this competition between us. I think it helps us have a better understanding of why Harry and Meghan felt so appalled at the things that they were seeing, felt so desperate to get away from it, because this was more than just the press was against us. This was their own family stirring the pot with the press. Where does Harry stand today in his relationship with Charles? There is more warmth between Harry and Meghan and Charles than other family members. But I was really surprised to discover that even Meghan had been sending photos and videos of the children to Charles. I think it just shows that there is hope there, perhaps, for the future, at least between those two. The next possible moment is Christmas, Christmas at Sandringham. So far, Harry and Meghan haven't been invited, although some sources close to them have said that they would be open to thinking about it. But I think it's far too early to ever imagine a world in which they're all going to be together side by side and smiling, even if it is through gritted teeth.